Now, Ghana's total debt stock could go up marginally for the first quarter of this year after a significant drop in December 2022. This is based on analysis of economic data for the first three months of 2023. Here's more in this report. Ghana's total debt stock witnessed one of its biggest drops in recent times. Bank of Ghana's data showed that it went down by 141 billion Ghana cities to reach 400 and 35 billion Ghana cities in December last year. This was not due to the debt exchange program or less borrowing by government, but just the fact that the Ghana city made some strong gains in December 2022 to hit eight Ghana cities, 57 pesos against the US dollar. This impacted on calculations of the debt numbers when it comes to converting the external debts into Ghana cities. Well, a careful look at the first quarter exchange rate showed that from that eight Ghana city range, it has reached more than 11 Ghana cities to the dollar and then March this year. The development will change the numbers the next time that fresh total desktop data is released by the Bank of Ghana. Ghana's total desktop ending December last year stood at 435 billion Ghana cities. This did not include government's commitment to some sectors of the economy, which the IMF had in the past contested as to how the debt numbers are calculated. However, now that Ghana is under an IMF program, the fund might force the Bank of Ghana to add these commitments, which will again push the debt numbers when it's published for the first quarter of this year. Some have argued that the debt exchange program would impact on the debt stock, but it might be March now when the data is finally released by the central bank.